Kristich down left wing. Dimitri Kristich to Alana. Centers and Hunter scores. Here's Hunter with the puck. Slides it down the boards and then boom. Rich Belong went for the head as well. There's Dow. Oh, yeah, there's the stick. And it, it appeared as though Hatcher had turned his stick. Watch the blade. That's a very unusual way to do it, Kevin Hatcher. Only a deliberate attempt to injure. As Barrett is battling, knocked it away from Kovacca, but now Elenuk sets out of the corner. Hip check thrown by Kasparaitis. Elenuk tries to get by Kasparaitis. Watch what he does. Swings around with the hip. Boom. Take that. Take a ride on me. No further play as Beaupre holds that. And now you see the ensuing scuffle. The Islanders have put together an exciting line. Marty McGinnis still out of the lineup with a broken kneecap. He's been skating in practice with the team. To back. Here's Hatcher with a drive. Glove save. And jostling at the side of the net. Hunter and Crute. Look at the desperate move by the goaltender. There's Ian Brady as he swings back. Ray Ferrero not taking any guff. Right back at him. Brady moves the puck around to Hunter. We've eight and a half minutes to play in the third period. Turgeon steals the puck, walks in. Oh, you know, five to one. An unfortunate scene now. Turgeon is being attended to. Yeah, I hate to see it. You talk about sportsmanship, and it's very easy to, to blow, your, blow your cool, but when the Islanders took the 5-1 to one lead, the Caps' response was this. Go to Turgeon. He's still being attended to. It was Dale Hunter that gave the puck away. Turgeon grabbed it. Went in and scored. And as Turgeon turned with his arms in the air, signaling his happiness, his elation for giving the Islanders a three-goal lead, he was mocked by Dale Hunter. Ben Wahol, his right arm, something bothering him. He's got tape on his right hand. He was in a fight. Cavallini is on his way to the dressing room. I'm sure that Ben Wahol will be gone from the hockey game. Fans are raining garbage down. Hate to see that. Can't do anything about it. Here's the goal. What a beauty. Now watch Hunter as he follows. He follows Pierre Turgeon, and then he just golfs him. And here, everything breaks down. There's the goal. Hunter gave it away. He's in the back right corner trying to close in on Turgeon. Here comes Hunter. Moves in on him. Moves in on him. The Hogue is behind him. Hogue doesn't look up. He's looking down as Turgeon is mocked by Dale Hunter. Turgeon on his way to the Islander dressing room. Pilon is left because of penalties. Hogue is left because of injuries. The Islander lead is 5-1. to one. The most important thing is for the Islanders, they get a 5-4 to 1 lead, excuse me, when Hunter gave the puck away here to Turgeon. He beats Don Beaupre, but unfortunately, watch the right arm as he's mugged. His right arm crushed into the boards as he fell uncontrollably after Hunter had slammed him, slugged him from the blind side. One more look at it. It was Hunter's giveaway that resulted in the goal. There's Hunter on the boards. Turgeon steps in, and you take it from there, Ed. 
Oh, you can see Hunter. He's hunting him down now. He's mad. He's selfish. That's exactly the way to describe him. He takes the responsibility for giving the puck away, giving away possibly the series. He takes it out on Pierre Turgeon because he made the most glaring error in the hockey game so far. The leader. Hockey is a game where discipline is supposed to be one of the greatest assets that you can have. A disciplined player, a disciplined team. And he showed neither. There's so much on the commissioner's plate. There is, Jason. When you think, you know, there's a lot of hockey players that are wearing the red jerseys, the Washington Capitals, that hate to see that happen because they don't want to be the representatives of what a lot of people just saw. They don't want people watching hockey to think that they themselves would do the same thing. I'm surprised and I'm disappointed in Dale Hunter. He represents too much to do what he did, but he cracked. Dale Hunter, uh, way after the uh, goal was scored, ramming Pierre Turgeon from behind, and uh, we don't know the extent of the injury. Your comments on the play? Well, I don't know what's, uh, what's going on with Pierre right now. I think he hurt his shoulder, but uh, um, very poor sportsmanship uh, on Dale Hunter's part. Uh, I know he's a competitor and everything, but uh, that was a cheap shot. And to think that he'd do something like that on a, on a national television uh, hockey game where we're trying to get some notoriety throughout the... Uh, the, uh, the southern part of the states and throughout the hockey world and that's just uh, uncalled for and it's way out of line I think. One of the uh, aspects of it that made it so uh, distasteful and here let's uh, just tell me about the move he makes on the goal. Well when Pierre gets a chance like that he never u doesn't usually uh, doesn't usually miss him. Uh, that's just uh, that's uh, something I don't ever want to see. Do you feel that uh, since Commissioner Gary Bettman is here right now uh, at the game, do you think he might take any action on this? And, and what do you think would be appropriate? Well, I think uh, it's a, an obvious uh, attempt to put one of the best players in the league out of the lineup. Um, uh, and uh, the fact that uh, he, he probably knew that they were going to lose the game. And uh, I think that's a cop-out by him and uh, um, not going through 60 minutes uh, to try and get, get their team back in the game. And it's also a very... Uh, very, uh, you know, I think it's a stab in the back. It's just awful, I think. Glenn, I'm told, and this is secondhand, but somebody told me that in the hallway there was another burst of emotion. Apparently Dale Hunter was going to do an interview, and uh, Ray Ferraro uh, saw him, and Ray apparently tried to get at him. Now, uh, there's got to be a, a huge a sting being suffered by the entire Islander team over the Hunter episode. Your feelings? Well, I, I had a tremendous amount of respect for Dale Hunter uh, before this evening. Um, you know, I, I feel he, he's a grinding player. He works hard. He works hard for his goals. But uh, tonight he displayed uh, the epitome of cheapness. I think uh, no player needs to be hit in that situation. Pierre was totally relaxed. Uh, the goal was three seconds in and uh, obviously feeling the frustration from the series. And uh, like I said, I've just lost a tremendous amount of respect for that man. And I hope the NHL comes down on things like that because there's no room in this league for that type of behavior. You said that I didn't see the puck go in, uh, you know, went in the net, uh, but uh, that's you know he, he tries to he tries to uh, hide something, but still it's a, it's a cheap shot. Canadians coach Jacques Demers was quick to criticize Hunter's actions, not his integrity. Should I always respect Dale Hunter as a competitor? But this time, at the, I'm not going to say he's been doing that for 10 years, like some people say. I don't, he's been a great competitor. I coach Mark Hunter, and the Hunters are known for being competitive. Competitive is one thing. But Dale Hunter's career is littered with the victims of his violent nature. This elbow on Gord Murphy led to a four-game suspension. Here goes Dale Hunter in seven year In his 13-year NHL career, he's never been too far from the game's dark side. Now the game may finally make Hunter pay. I wouldn't be, su be surprised if they, uh, you know, start cracking down from what they what they say uh, as the, you know, incidents like this uh, to, to uh, you know, make guys. Uh, you know, get punished for uh, for actions that uh, that aren't call, called for. There is a playoff precedent. Ron Hextall's premeditated attack on Chris Chelios four years ago earned him a 12-game suspension that started the following season. Everyone agrees that incident pales in comparison to the Turgeon affair. We're trying to sell hockey in the States. ABC is apparently going to televise, you'd like to see Turgeon against Lemieux, right? And that kid's not going to be there in the series, so that's all I want to say. I'm not going to tell the league how to run their business. I'm advancing to the Patrick Division Finals. I don't see many hands out there, but they have done it. 
Game six at the Coliseum versus the Capitals. The Islanders came back from a 1-0 deficit. They tied it. Then, while shorthanded, Benoit Hogue scores, gave the Islanders the lead that they would not give up. Just before the second period came to an end, Brad Delgarno scored his first playoff goal. 3-1 Islanders after two. Then in the third, the icing on the cake and the controversy. Pierre Turgeon watched the cheap, cheap shot. Dale Hunter puts on Turgeon after the goal. Both Turgeon and then Benoit Hogg were injured from the rough stuff. While the Rangers and Devils are still getting tea times, though, the Islanders have ice time. Five to three winners. They take the series four games to two despite the cheap We don't want to dwell on, on what happened with Dale Hunter because we have a major, major uh, uh, task in beating the, beating the Penguins. So they do move on. After two. Now 4-1. An ugly incident. Pierre Turge on the goal off a Dale Hunter giveaway. Then he became head hunter instead of Dale Hunter. Tried to maim Turge on. No place for that in any sport. Throw the book at him. Too bad the series ended on that note. Islanders win 5-3. Sal Marciano sampled some reaction at the Coliseum about that cheap shot. Um, I'm disgusted at the play. I think that... Uh, I've lost a tremendous amount of respect for that organization and that player, and um, there's no time in the league for a player like that, especially against a guy with as, as much heart and, and a player like Turgeon who adds as much to the to the game as he does. And to hit a man when he's unaware at three seconds after he scored a goal is, is Bush League, and I hope the NHL clamps down on a guy like that. I mean, they're talking about cleaning up the game. I think the, uh, the punishment has to be severe in this case. I don't know what Mr. Bateman has planned, but I hope he looks at it very seriously. I mean, that's... That's a Pierre Turgeon is ranks with the Lemieux and the superstars of the game. Absolutely. Game one Sunday in Pittsburgh and Montreal also eliminated Quebec in six. Two of the playoffs as they beat the Caps at the Coliseum two nights. Second period, watch the shorthanded effort by Benoit Hogue as Kelly Johansson almost tackles him. Hogue somehow tug it past Beaupre to make it 2 1 Islanders. Great shot. Seconds before the end of the period, it was Brad Delgarno who scores off the rebound to give the Isles a 3 to 1 advantage. Then with a 4-1 in the third, Pierre Turgeon put the icing on the playoff cake with another goal. Capital Dale Hunter added one last tasteless act, hammering Turgeon after the goal. Result was predictable as a fight ensued. Most important result, the scoreboard. Isles will take on the Penguins for the division championship in round two. One other NHL game tonight. Don't like it, but like it. again, Dennis Martinez to be effective has to pitch inside. Even against left-handers, he tries to sneak that ball inside and have it run over. Since 1987, when they needed seven games to dispose of the Caps, now six years later, the Isles could accomplish the same feat in six games. Three of the previous five games between these two have required overtime. And the Caps were in trouble. The Isles up 4-1. to one. Pierre Turgeon in the third period makes them pay. Dale Hunter follows with a cheap shot. Turgeon out four to six weeks with a separated shoulder and a concussion. There's a perfect example. Uh, the league says they want to clean up the game. Well, Mr. Bettman's got his first chance to clean it up because Hunter's been doing it for a lot of years. He's a cheap player and he went and he took out one of the game's stars. And uh, to suspend him at the start of next year does us no good. He's got to be hit in the pocketbook and he's got to be hit hard because that's ridiculous. Unless the Isles make it to the finals, Pierre Turgeon's season pretty much over separated shoulder, the concussion. Commissioner Bettman was at the game, will make a ruling on Thursday. The Canadians try to push the Nords into the offseason. Ron Hextall looking for redemption after a poor showing in Game 5. Paul DiPietro sneaking up right wing and a tough angle. DiPietro's second goal of the game and 3-2 halves. It's 4-2 Montreal. DiPietro all alone and give him the hat trick. DiPietro brought to his knees. Late in the third, 5-2 halves, DiPietro says, I've done enough scoring. How about Gilbert Dion? And then he put that saber back into his pants. Pierre Paget saying, what happened? What happened? What hit us? Montreal. <laughs> Montreal wins it 6-2. DiPietro with the hat trick and the assist. The Habs, 10th straight uh, winning year that they've won the first round series after losing the first two Montreal reeling off. They won a playoff series since 1980. Yeah. He made no secret of his, of his desire to clean up the sport. Bettman got his chance when Washington's Dale Hunter used his stick as a weapon against New York Islander Pierre Turgeon during Wednesday night's playoff game. Less than 24 hours later, Bettman suspended Dale Hunter indefinitely. The length of the ban to be determined at the end of the week. Turgeon, the Islanders' leading scorer, had just put the finishing touch on what turned out to be a series-clinching victory for the Isles. Turgeon about to celebrate when Hunter watched him mugs him. If it happened on the street, Hunter could be arrested for assault and battery. 
Turgeon suffered a concussion and a separated shoulder. It looked severe as it was taking place live, and it looked severe when I looked at it again on tape. When we have all the factors in, we'll put a fixed time on the indefinite suspension. One of the factors we need to obviously take into account is the extent of the injury, and we need to see the medical reports to do that. Now, Turgeon will miss the Islanders' second-round series against the Pittsburgh Penguins. By the way, Turgeon's agent is looking into taking Hunter's act of goonery to court. He's considering filing a civil damage claim.